Brooke has been a dance student of Iowa Arts Academy since uh, August 2017, since her first dance class at Iowa Arts. Brooke has worked constantly to improve herself as a dance artist. She is a smart dancer and works to process and implement corrections daily. This way of working has helped her to make consistent technical and artistic aids in ballet, modern, and jazz throughout her time training at Iowa Arts. She is a strong, well-rounded dancer with a strong foundation and excels in the contemporary dance forms and improvisation. One instance of Brooke's professionalism this year was working in a ballet kina. Brooke was a last-minute substitution when another dancer was injured. She worked diligently to learn the part quickly and only her one rehearsal. And then we stuck her in with the group. And she was ready for the performance. She is a dependable dancer who is always eager to help when needed. Brooke is also an assistant teacher for the Iowa Arts Children's Dance Program, helping out on Saturday mornings with the pre-primary class for ages 3 to 4, as well as for the modern class for ages 7 to 11. This is Brooke's second year as an assistant, and many of the parents have commented on her gentle nature and enthusiasm of the children. Uh, one instance I remember is one of the little girls was crying, and Brooke just sat there and talked to her three year old, and then by the end of the class, Brooke was just laughing and enjoying it in class, so that was really great. Um, again, teaching in the Iowa Arts Children's Dance Program is just one more way that Brooke is expanding her experiences and knowledge at the dance program. Purpose of everyone being together. 
my two brothers, Brett and Sean, my sister Lauren. And then it's, it's after one of my Nutcracker performances. These are all the sports I've done and like the athletic side of things I've done. I'm very good at sports, not to, you know. I decided to dance, which is athleticism. But me playing soccer, I played soccer up until fifth grade when they made me decide between Nutcracker and soccer. The dance studio told me I couldn't be in the Nutcracker if I still did soccer. So I did lots of stuff. I did basketball in third grade. I ran track and field since I was very little, as you can see. I was like two feet tall. <laughs> I didn't actually get first place. I just took a picture on the first place. <laughs> okay. But no, no, no. It, it's good because I was the second fastest person in all of youth track, including all of the boys, which is pretty good because I ran so yeah. fast. And guys were always like, you can't run faster than me. It's like, well, I probably can't, but you can, you can keep that. Okay. <laughs> and then I played soccer, and this is freshman year. I went to public school. Back, yeah. Went to public school freshman year, and I got second place in hurdles out of the whole San Bernardino region. So out of every high school that was in that. So I went to CIF freshman year, which is pretty cool. And a lot of people don't do that at my school. But yeah, what a dancer. Everyone was always like, you're so flexible during the warm-up when you just had to touch your toes. It was like, oh, okay, I guess. So we're just touching our toes. You should probably practice. <laughs> like, you can do a lot of fun things and like air ahead, like you can wakeboard and um, snowboard and ski. I was like four in this picture when I was skiing. I look pretty cool. Um, yeah, and <laughs> plotting and stuff. I just, I like doing sports. I think it's fun. But I chose dance instead because I love to dance. This is my story time. This is me and my sister. She used to dance when we were growing up. So, in my old studio, me and her kind of got kicked out because she was the bad child. You know in the dance class, you can imagine you're teaching and there's the child that's like jumping around and hanging on the bars and just being crazy. That's my sister. <laughs> so she got us both kicked out of like her head school of dance when we were younger. Well, she didn't get me kicked out, but my mom wanted to take us both down the hill because we're not going to dance at two studios. So we went and danced down the hill until she was old enough to be switched into a different class. So pretty much she took me down the hill to dance at the dance gallery. And then we went back up the hill and I continued my training when she was old enough because her and this one teacher were always like fighting and stuff. But I still got to go back and then she quit. So <laughs> everything worked out, you know. <laughs> so dancing in Lake Arrowhead, I have lived there my whole life until coming to school sophomore year here. This is Morgan, actually, in the front row. <laughs> Morgan, everyone. We danced together and then came here to school together. We were both lilac fairies in that picture. There's a lot of nutcracker posts. Um, can we just, uh, what, <laughs> what is this? I can appreciate my progress, I think. But this is funny. So I added that for the humor for all of you dancers. And this is my best friend Madison and me and her when we were older when she was Clara. We danced together for a long time and then this is from Peter and the Wolf. I was Peter. <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah. It was really fun. We did a lot of elementary school performances. And this was from Chinese and the Nutcracker. So I pretty much just danced there my whole life and I grew up um, doing Mainly ballet. I think ballet was their main focus, yeah. definitely. I did some mediocre jazz and lyrical. But, you know, I'm glad for the training, but I'm glad that I was able to come here and progress more. Yeah, it's my background. Ooh. This is funny, also. I didn't really know the dates, but this was a long time ago. I kind of just guessed 2015. Could be. You know, but this is very terrible. Okay, fairly bad <laughs> photo. It's just 
Like 2017 is not great, but I'm not a ballerina, you know. There's there's progress. It's just a fun mm -hmm. transition that I thought I'd share with you guys. These are my summer dance intensives. So I've been away for four summers and got to go to different cities. So just kind of shit. Houston Ballet was my first intensive, so yeah, I grew up in the Garrett mainly studying ballet. And then I got into Houston Ballet for 2016, which is, it's a really good summer program. It's pretty surprising if I tell you guys I'm not like the world's best person at ballet. But I did get into Houston Ballet, and I actually had a really good time. It was a six-week summer program. I think I was 13 or 14. Yeah, but it was, it was my first time away from home. And I actually had a really good time doing ballet all day, and it went by really fast. And it just surprised me, because I'm sure you guys can't really imagine me at like Houston Ballet. <laughs> but it was good. I think I got a bit better at ballet while I was there. This is 2017 when I went to Alonzo King Lines Ballet. This was a very fun summer program. I got to go to San Francisco, and I made some of my best friends there. Because at Houston Ballet, it's fair to say I don't get along with ballerinas that well. I feel like they just, unless you're amazing, they just won't be friends with you. Um, <laughs> it's a rough life. Like, I'm just different. But at Alonzo C. Lines Ballet, it wasn't a ballet intensive. It was, it's contemporary ballet intensive. It's a very well-known company. But I love the people there. They're all very welcoming. And this is Ashley and Lucy. I just love them. And they're both at, um, they're at the Alonzo, um, not Alonzo, Fordham training program with um, Alvin Ailey. Yeah, they're both in the Ailey <coughs> training program right now, which is really cool. And this was just a, this is my first time like, really being, um, learning modern and contemporary. So it was a lot, and it was especially a lot learning the repertoire and the pieces for the end, because I wasn't used to being in such like high demand rehearsals. And then I would just forget the dance, and I'd be like, I don't know which side I'm on, and I would just kind of be freaking out. And now it feels so common to me, you know, in rehearsals, I just know what's happening. But then I was like, this is a 13 minute piece, I don't know, this is so stressful. But I had a really good time, and I got to take class from Alonzo King, who is incredible and very insightful. And I just grew a lot and learned a lot about dance during this intensive, and I would recommend it, and it's just really good. And Hubbard Street Dance Chicago, this is what I did last year. Not last summer, the summer before last summer. This is an amazing intensive if you're into kind of commercial, contemporary, like they do commercially stuff and contemporary. It's just less classical, even though we did do ballet. But it was such a fun program, and it was all like right up my alley, and all the repertoire we did was just, I really, really enjoyed it. And it made me a lot better. After this intensive, I could actually like move in ways I wanted to, if that makes sense. But it was just, it was a really fun and I really recommend it for people. But we did really cool stuff, because it was in Chicago, so I did a lot of um, like sky stuff. We went to the Bean, and this is, Amy, she's my roommate. She's the most incredible, incredible dancer I have ever seen. I've showed some of my friends' videos of her. She's such a good dancer. And everyone in that program was so good, and it was just really inspiring to be there. And at times, I was like, how did I get in? Because they're so good. But then I was like, you're not bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was just it was really fun. And Chicago is a great city, and I'm really glad I was there to experience it and learn. So this was my last summer intensive that I did last summer in Portland. It was four weeks at Northwest Dance Project. This one, it wasn't as rigorous as I thought it would be because it turns out a lot of the people I was with 
they were like, oh, I didn't get into Alonzo King line, so I came in here. And I was like, oh, I went there two years ago. You know, it was just me. It was kind of, but I wasn't placed in a very good level this summer, which was frustrating to me because, I, you know, I've already been training at places that these people didn't get into. And I was like, why do they think I suck? But <laughs> it, was, it was destiny, you know. These things happen. And I actually had a great time. I really loved the group I was in. So, you know, it's like you can be disheartened. Like a lot of people get disheartened, but then ultimately it's, like it's for you and everything works out perfectly. That's just how I do things. But it wasn't as rigorous, but it was really insightful. Like a lot of it was just about how you feel and like moving ways you want to and like how to make things feel good. So it was more informative than trying to exercise you till you die, if that makes sense, because a lot of us feel the pain. But this one was just, it was a fun time. My roommate Katie, Shout out to Katie, love you girl. She's from Chicago. She is so cool. And I just got through the year at Idlewild having a roommate I did not get along with at all, keeping me up at night, stuff like that. You're watching. <laughs> She's not watching. <laughs> She's not watching. <laughs> but it was, it was just great because Sophia said you're gonna get a new, you're gonna get a good roommate. I know this is gonna happen for you because you deserve it after being kept up the whole year. And I did. Me and Katie both love musicals. We both just she's just so nice, and I love her. And it was such a great experience. And also, this program wasn't taught by older teachers. It was taught by company dancers, which is a really really cool cool experience because they're all really fun people and you can see how the company interacts with each other because a lot of summer intensives isn't really by the company dancers. But it was really awesome. And they all thought I was funny, which I like because I like when people think I'm funny. <laughs> yeah. These are some pictures from Idle Wild Arts. These are the years I've been here. These two photos on the top and bottom are from the last concert mm -hmm. taken by Henry. Thanks, Henry. Mm -hmm. And these two are from the um, photo shoots we have every year. Okay. Okay, this, so at our school, we do the student choreography concert. I have only Lexi is here, the restaurant Nutcracker. But this <coughs> is my student choreography from junior year. So I just thought I'd show a video. You probably can't hear the sound, but that's okay because most of you have seen this piece. <coughs> yeah. Thank you. 
But then if it is, what about the nothingness that was before you started? On the nothing, it takes nothing to have something. Because you wouldn't know what something was without nothing. You wouldn't be able to see anything unless there were nothing behind your eyes. The most real state is the state of nothing.
we breached my extracurricular activities. <laughs> There's quite an extensive list because I like to keep myself busy because I'm booked and busy, right Kai? <laughs> so yeah, I'm in a lot of clubs and stuff. I don't know why I do this to myself. Like I enjoy every single one of these, but if anyone else was in them, they'd probably be stressed. I am stressed. <laughs> I think that's what I'm trying to say. So I'm co-president of Environmental Club. I love the earth. It's something that sustains us all, and I think we need to protect it. So that is something I enjoy. It's an honor for me to be one of the presidents. I just, yeah, love the earth. National Honor Society. We do a lot of volunteering and stuff. Um, yeah. Well, we're, we're in progress, <laughs> we're doing a lot of volunteering. So it's just, that's something that I think is just an award for like how hard I've worked for my grades and stuff and volunteering. It's just nice recognition that I have that because it's, it's not like I'm doing this for nothing in a way. The children's dance program, yes. As I said, I love the children and helping kids dance because especially on this mountain, it's mountains in general, it's hard for kids to get dance education. So it's a really beautiful thing this school does and I'm very happy because you see these kids and I, I want to be a ballerina when I'm older. And it's like, you totally can! You know? It's just, it's so nice. And smarts. This was from last Yes, last Friday I went to SMARTS. It's a program where you can volunteer at the elementary school and do art with kids. And yeah, only like three people from the school do it, which makes me sad because I walked down the preschool wing and I could just live there. Ah, uh, they're so cute. But we did sand painting, which I've just done a whole bunch of cool arts and crafts, and they're all like, of course she's good at it. She goes to Idle Wild Arts. And it's like, I'm a dance major, but thank you so much for thinking I'm doing this well. <laughs> yeah, it's just, oh, it's, it's really good, and one of my favorite things. Idle Wild Arts Prefecture, isn't that what it's called? Mm -hmm. Well, no, but the, the name is Idle Wild Arts Prefecture. But yes, I am a prefect, and a lot of my friends here are prefects. It's just nice to be able to help the community at school, I feel like, and it's nice to have a leadership role in the school and to just be a prefect. It's, it's just a nice thing I think you can do for the community if you're into that. Art and society, yeah! <laughs> what brought you guys here tonight? We're here because Art and Society puts on these great events to bring art into society and to help the society thrive because statistics show that obviously art brought into society lower, lowers crime rates, it like helps all the children when they do art and stuff. There's just all these good statistics about art so it's a good thing that this very artistic community has this, um, this outlet that brings so many good things, especially to the community and to the school, because Art and Society brings a lot of um, artists and performers in the symposium and stuff. It's just great to get art embedded into the school, even though art is embedded in the school, because it's an art school, but it's just, you know, a good thing we do. And Student Ambassador, that's the photo in front of the Chrome House of all the new student ambassadors this year. This is my first year doing it. I had my first lunch with a prospective student today and it went, it went good. I'm excited to meet people at the end of the year, even though, like I said, people think I'm scary. But I try my best to, like at first, you know, to be approachable. You know, put that smile on. Yeah. Not <laughs> clubs. Oh, this is from the last um, performance that we had last year at the Children's Dance Program. She is so cute. Fun fact, oh. I met, so did you teach in that class last year? So last year I taught with the little kids and I um, assisted Sophia's class, which is a little bit older. But I made friends with all of her class at that one performance because I get along so well with littler, littler kids. 
because they just love you. And I just, you know, it's, it's, it's just funny that I made some friends with so many of the really little kids on that one day. And I wasn't friends with like any of the kids in my class because they all, they're just at that age, you know. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yay! <laughs> I'm not very hated, actually. 
Um, but yeah, just cool. I feel like a lot of people can say, you know, there's those people that are like, ah, I hate this school. This school's terrible. It's like, it's not terrible. You probably just do things you shouldn't. But I just like how many opportunities there are here. You know, I take part in a lot of things. And I love living with my friends. You know, it's sad I can't see my dog, but when I do, you know, I do. <laughs> yeah, this is just, um, thank the school for being invented. Because we have some good times here.
I'm an architect. And what kept running through my mind was the architecture that dance creates, the shapes and the forms and the inter, uh, interrelations between uh, spaces. Uh, it's quite interesting. Yes. And just incidentally, I was the architect uh, for the Albanese School and also um, for the David Howard School of Ballet. So. That's awesome. Everyone is impressed. <laughs> 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 and, and I will mention, put in a plug here, that David, our, the architect, is part of the Associates of Idlewild Arts. And in case some of you don't know what the Associates of Idlewild Arts does, we raise money, all of which goes towards scholarships for the school. And uh, we are so proud of the students here. I just can't tell you. Uh, we just we love having you as part of our community too. Thank, thank you. you. I love being here. It's wonderful. And thank you very much to John Milhouse. Yes. And Rick Martinez who are on the gallery. <laughs> Hey everyone at home watching, thanks for watching if you got this far. Bye. <laughs>